I remember being hungry, having to hold my mom while she cried, hearing gunshots that night. I remember how hard it was to grow up. In just hours now, HBO will release its newest documentary highlighting the historic rise of Stockton Mayor Michael Tubbs. It premieres Tuesday, and let's just say they do not sugarcoat anything. I was a little bit shocked to see how much my father was, was in the film, if I'm being honest. His father was a gang member who ended up in prison most of his life. And as he says at the at the beginning, you know, he, his life was pretty much set up. The setup was that he'd pro follow his father to prison or he'd end up tragically like his cousin did, dead. Director Mark Levin notes instead on election eve 2016, the day that Donald Trump was elected president, Michael Tubbs Jr. would become the youngest mayor of a major U.S. city at age 26. He wanted to tell that story. And, and to Michael's credit, uh, I said to him, I said, my gosh, you're, you, you know, you're a 20 something. This can't just be politics and policy uh, and intellectual ideas. It's got to be your personal life. After all, Stockton knows a thing or two about defying the odds. The Stockton story is this idea of redemption, taking what was bad and trying to make it good. Good morning. You need bad days or anything? Mayor Tubbs has a message for detractors who say the mayor is seeking out national attention. For the last decade, if the majority of coverage about your city has been negative and about bankruptcy or the former mayor being investigated and arrested by the FBI and things of that sort, that you will want some positive press to change the perception and raise the morale of, of the city. And what makes Stockton so special is the tenacity and the resilience of our residents. Um, to go from bankruptcy to fiscal solvency, from record homicides to 40% reduction, from most miserable to all-American city, that doesn't just happen. Justice for everybody. This is my home.